what's up? So in this video, I want to show you how easy it is and effortless it is to personalize your emails um, at massive scale with using Clay. Um, so the old way of doing this and the old way uh, if you wanted to personalize your emails with either to hire a VA and manually go onto each website and kind of check, okay, what is this company doing? Like all this kind of stuff and find the information and then um, pull that and then write that out individually, right? Cost money takes ages. That's number one way of doing it. Um, the other way would be to use a software like Line or something where you upload a list of companies and then it'll spit out like a pretty generic or shitty uh, AI personalized line, right? So that's one way of doing it. Um, this way in Clay is a new way and allows you to personalize massively um, at a huge scale for a fraction of the cost uh, and well, uh, as well as also very, very, very quickly. Um, so here you can see we've got a list of Series C funded companies. It's just a starter list from Clay. Um, and what we've done is we've gone over to Enrich Data and we've got what's cool, um, what's pretty cool actually is called uh, recipes. Um, so recipes are essentially uh, pre-built templates and pre-built um, workflows that you can quite literally just click on and it will find and populate information and data points based on those work, uh, based on what you're trying to look for. So for example, here I've gone use GPT to craft a one line, um, uh, what is it, a one line, uh, one liner based on what the company does basically, right? So obviously this isn't the most complex or in-depth personalization, but it is just a starting point. And I want to show you how easy it is to do so that your emails are now way more personalized and way more relevant uh, as opposed to, again, using the old ways of doing things. So once we've got this recipe, it will automatically populate. So it's automatically built out the template for you and the prompt within GPT. And what it'll do is it'll scrape the website automatically for you. So all you need to do is quite literally press play and run the column. I'm just going to do this as a couple of examples just to show you what this looks like. So let's just click here, click here, click here. We can just run the entire column if we wanted to. We could go run column, choose number of rows or run all the rows. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because it's going to just cost me a bunch of credits. But you can see here how very easily it spit this out. It scraped the website. And then once it's scraped the website, it's fed that information to ChatGPT. And then it's told ChatGPT, basically, uh, if we go to edit column, um, and you can see here, this is the prompt that it's using. Uh, I need your help researching companies and running your first line. And then it basically runs you through the prompt to use. And it's already pre-template, it's built out. You don't need to do any work in the sense. Um, so I was on your website and it says, I was on your website and saw you're focused on affordable healthcare solutions, right? So that's the personalized first line. I was on your website and saw you're focused on boosting product metrics. So again, I was on your website and saw you're focused on Pokemon and 100 Thieves. So. What happens here is you can see here it says run condition not met if the scrape hasn't been able to actually pull information uh, which you can see here i think it hasn't been able to yeah it hasn't been able to pull the information um gpt won't run right so if it's not able to scrape the website properly and pull the information and everything that it needs for gpt to run it will not run and it won't cost you any credits it says run condition not met and again you could do this again if you wanted to we could do another one here you just literally click play and it will do the whole thing for you. So we started off with like an initial list. We've just got the company name. Obviously we could use this to find the people that work at these companies. We could do all sorts of different things, but there's just another really cool way uh, to show you how you can leverage AI and how you could do it at, at, at scale. I mean, imagine if you imagine trying to use VAs and stuff to, to write these, right? It, it's going to take ages. It's going to cost you money. This costs like to run a thousand, to run a thousand rows with GPT, um, if you're using your OpenAI key and you're using GPT-4, which is a little bit more expensive, to run a thousand rows is going to cost you about $5. So if you were to get a VA to write a thousand first lines, or you're to use another software to, to, to do that or write a thousand first lines, how much would that cost you? It certainly wouldn't be $5. $5 is incredibly cheap and you're getting the best of best in terms of actually using OpenAI directly. You're not using some random AI software. So you can see I was on your website and so we focused on healthcare's interoperability, right? So again, super simple first lines. And obviously the, the, the output and the spit, like what it's going to spit out is going to be dependent on what the prompt that you use is. But I just wanted to show you what an idea of what a recipe is. And it's just another word or a form of a workflow just with little snippets. So it's not the entire table like some of my previous videos have been, but it's just a little snippet and it's pre-built. So you don't need to do any work in that sense. You quite literally just need to click a button. Right, which is why the new way of being able to actually run outbound is with one sales rep, not multiple sales rep, not to have like a massive team or anything like that. Have one sales rep that knows how to actually use the software, right? And then being able to leverage AI tech and everything all in one place 
so that you can write and create extremely personalized campaigns and email campaigns at massive scale. Um, if you're able to do that and you know how to do that, you're going to save so much money because you don't need to hire sales reps, right? You're just leveraging AI. If you know how to actually leverage AI, you can write more personalized and more relevant emails at massive scale, right? That none of your competitors are doing. So you're going to save money and get better results. And you're going to also save a whole bunch of time as well, because you don't need to use multiple different softwares. You don't need to jump from different places. You don't need to have any of these like energy expenditures. You have it all in one place. Right? You literally just click a button and it's all pre-populated. So the old way of doing this shit is to build multiple lists in different places and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's a pain in the ass and it's a headache. And I've done it before. And I'm sure you've done it before and it's a headache. Whereas if you use this, so much easier to do it. It will save you a bunch of time. It will also save you a bunch of money because you don't need to hire a sales rep to do this anymore. And it will get you way better results because you're actually able to personalize the emails at a massive scale and find out all the particular data points, reach your prospects at the right time. So again, I want to show you how this is done. And this is way easier than what's been done before. And again, there's a massive opportunity because not many people are actually using or leveraging it to the best extent. So if you want to learn how to do that, then you can book in a call below with myself and we can run through what your needs are, what you're looking for help with, and then how we can sort of build out custom workflows and templates and everything for you so that you can better reach your prospects, save a bunch of time and save money. So you don't need to hire a bunch of sales reps or anything to manage your outbound and have a system in place that will book you in meetings consistently over and over and over again. So if that sounds like you and you have case studies, you're a B2B and you have case studies, then book in a call below and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.